Hi guys, welcome to another Living SATV video, David here. Today we are going to learn more about the Val River Mega City project that is worth 11 billion rand. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because once again this video will blow your mind. Okay guys, so today we're gonna speak about the Val River Mega City, which is a like I said previously, a project that is worth 11 billion rand and will get a lot of development to the Vol River area in the south of Gauteng, which is also very interesting. The project is not new, it's from 2015. I know, I know, it's kind of an old project, but still seems like it's still in the back burner because like I mentioned on this video, you guys remember the development corridors in Gauteng? Seems like that the Vol River is still one of them and still will happen, we just don't know when, but uh, let's check the story behind it. And of course guys, let me give you a quick word from our sponsor ExpressVPN. If you don't have a VPN yet, don't forget to go down below and get your VPN in order to surf on the internet completely anonymous and be able also to access your favorite series if they don't uh, appear in your native country and also go out there to public Wi-Fi, the internet cafe Wi-Fi everywhere you want because nobody will be able to fish information out of your phone because they will not have access to your internet history and that is another big plus for such a low price guys don't forget to go down below and get your ExpressVPN A mega city to be erected on 250 hectares of land on the banks of the Val River with 6 kilometers of river frontage will bring a substantial boost to the local economy, 5,000 dwelling units and tourism spin-offs. The Val City development stretches from Vanderbilt Park, Upper Reaches, through Sharpville and Mfuleni to Sasselberg and the Val. The Hauteng Provincial Government established five corridors for housing and other economic development. This 11 billion rand mega settlement in the City Bank area is one of them. This vital industrial node in the south of Hauteng, which was once a bustling steel hub, will benefit from more than 4 billion in private sector investment. Working in partnership with local government, the Val River City Development Company, LTD, a BE consortium involved in property development and property holding, is headed up by Reggie Kukama with State City CEO Giuseppe Lumari as a shareholder. Plumari says it is the most prominent land available in the region, situated close to the R59 and R42. It is ideally located not far from Verenigen, Vanderbilt Park and Sasselberg. According to Kukama, regular people have been unable to reach the riverside because all land along the Val's shoreline is privately held. The new city will open this up to the public, providing a new waterfront and tourism destination, as well as serving as a model for future city developments. The architectural objective for the Vol City development, according to Nichelle Mystery, one of the DBM architects working on the project, is to create a thriving metropolitan center with wholesome, safe, family oriented living that is correctly integrated into the existing neighboring neighborhoods. Approximately 7,500 jobs will be produced during construction, with an anticipated 19,000 jobs in an operational phase and more in the future. According to Kukama, it will serve as a catalyst for additional development in the area, while also providing an environmental foundation. 
The project consists of 400,000 square meters of office space, 60,000 square meters of retail and hospitality space, 20 hectares of parkland, natural open space and a bird sanctuary. A new local government precinct featuring municipal offices, a court of law, government departments and services will be built in Vol City. There are proposals to develop two universities in the area in the future. For new inhabitants, as well as those in the neighboring communities, the central position will allow convenient access to amenities. It is hoped that around 60% of the dwelling units will be purchased and occupied by residents of the Vol area, Kukama explains. Residential will make up 20 to 25% of the project, with plans for 5,000 much needed homes and plenty of open space, providing owners with a lifestyle on the water's edge, complete with the walkways, bird watching and picnic areas. The River City, according to Kukama, will capture the historical legacy of our country, including artwork and sculptures, as well as cultural sites as architecture that reflect the region's history. Most major cities are located along a river. This was a big opportunity since most other rivers in South Africa are privatized, but this precinct model meant that general public would have better accessibility, Kukam explains. With bike tracks, pedestrian walkways, a metropolitan bus system, a civic center, medical and educational institutions, this development will cater to a wide range of people and communities. According to Plumaris, the new development business owns the land outright and has the government's promise to work with them on providing services and infrastructure. This new mega settlement is a fantastic opportunity for investors who want to help the government meet its development goals for future generations. There you go guys, this was another amazing video about another mega project here in South Africa. Hope you guys enjoyed, you guys subscribe and you guys will destroy that like button because it will help us to reach more people and grow the channel. So I'm expecting your help. Anyway, my name is David and I will see you in the next Living in the CTV video.